Hello, Katherine. How are you? Hi, teacher. Welcome. Today, you are the first one. You were the first one today. Okay. How was your day, Katherine? Bye. It was fine. What did you do? Work, work and work. Yeah, it is like we always work all the time. So cool. I know. Oh, but it is it is it is good at least to have a job, right? When you have a job, that's the best part of everything. So, okay, so let's wait for the rest to come. Mr. Edwin, on time as always. Hello, Edwin. Okay. So welcome, welcome to your class. It is, it, it was like one of these days that I thought that it was going to rain. Creí que iba a llover muy, muy recio. Por como se veía, pero no. Nada de lluvia. Puro calor, puro calor. Hello, Antonio. Hello, Ilse. Welcome. Hello, teacher. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, we are going to do many things today. We have a little bit of practice, we have a little bit of reading, and we are going to be working on third person today. So, I hope that you had the chance to practice. Tuvieron oportunidad de practicar, aunque sea un poquito ahora. Hoy no. Oye, Edwin dice, hoy no. Hoy fue un día duro, ya vi. Fue un día complicado. Bastante. Ay, I imagine. For me too. It was one of... Estuve usando dos lenguas, Oh, really? That's so good. Duolingo is good. I, I think it, it is very entertained. It, it is very, very good. So if you are using Duolingo, continue using it. Because the problem is that if you download Duolingo, right? And then, ahí lo dejan tirado. Y ya no sigue. The idea is that you continue, right? Continue with the progress. It is a very good practice, right? La llevo 15 días. Creo que es un avance. Very good. Very good job, right? Ya lleva buena racha. That's a very good thing. So don't stop. Don't stop practicing because that is one of the problems that in some cases eh, we start, but then we don't continue. And then it's like, nah. Ah, sí, lo empecé una vez, we say, and, and we, don't, we don't do much. So it is good. If you start it, Keep working with Duolingo. It is a very nice app to practice English. Okay. And I think it, it is good. It's a very good thing that you are practicing. Congratulations on your 15 days with Duolingo. Definitely. Well, let's work. Yesterday, we were talking about the different structures for third person in simple present, right? I need you to give me one example of affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Give me one example, affirmative, one example negative, and one example interrogative. Any sentence, no la que escribieron ayer, just give me one example, invéntense uno. With third person, he, she, or it. Any of the three. Give me one example. Hello, Christian. Uh 
Ajá, just don't write it. No les escriban, solo díganme un ejemplo. Y el ejemplo que me digan lo van a hacer negativo y pregunta. Por ejemplo, if I say, um, he cooks breakfast. He doesn't cook breakfast. Does he cook breakfast? And we have the three examples, right? Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. You can say, she cleans the house. She doesn't clean the house. Does she clean the house? And then you have the example. Think about one. Think about one of the examples and give it to me. Uh, I, am, I am listening to music tonight. Okay, remember, we are doing examples with third person. Estamos con la tercera persona. Y si decimos, ah, I am listening to music, es yo soy escucho. Yo remember soy, the two sería... verbs, I. You. No, but this, this sería... He, he, she. Uh -huh. He. 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 He listens, no, he is. He listens, he listens uh huh. To music, listen to music tonight. Okay, he listens to music every night, let's say. Every, every night. night. He listens to music every night. The negative? He listens to music, no. He not. He? No, he listens to ¿Cuál es el auxiliar negativo que ocupamos para he, she, or it? So, doesn't, doesn't. He doesn't. doesn't. El verbo que sería listen to music. Listen to music. Every. Uh, every day. Every day. Every day or every night. And the question? Sería, do, do you listen to music? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para he, she, or it? Ayer hicimos un montón de ejemplos. Come on. Das. Das. Very good. Das. He. Das. He. Das. He. Listen to music. Das. He. Listen to music. Very good. Every day. Every day, ok. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Copy it. Ahora copiala. Ya la hiciste, ahora copiala. Vamos a ver. Next. Okay. Edwin, what is your sentence? Oh, okay. Ahora <laughs> estoy pensando. Ok, piensa, piensa. Veamos, ¿alguien más? No las piensen mucho porque si no se nos complica. Joana, vamos. Entré un poquito tarde, no sé qué es la actividad. Ok, we are doing sentences. Affirmative, negative and interrogative with he or she. Simple present. Las, como las que hicimos ayer. Oraciones en simple present. She cooks dinner, he goes to the movies. Uh, he watch he watch movie. Uh-huh. A movie. And he sleeps in your bed. Okay, he sleeps in my bed. In her bed. So. In his bed, in his bed. Um <laughs> Negativas también, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, entonces sería, does he, does he um, watch, watch a movie? Does he watch a movie? Good, very good. Uh, she doesn't sleep in her bed. In his bed, in his bed. Very good. Excellent. So, as I can see that you still have issues with the sentences, Veo que todavía nos cuesta un poquito armar las oraciones. Hagamos lo siguiente. Ok. Nos vamos a ir así. Así aprendí yo. Así que espero que les sirva a ustedes también. 
yo soy bien visual y entonces sí me ubico en, lo, en, en las partes de cada cosa, se me hace más fácil. Subject. Podemos poner he, podemos poner she, podemos poner my mother, que sería el mismo sujeto, pero obviamente en este caso ya tiene un, 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 una representación, my mother. You can say eh, Julio, we can say Juanita, and we can say eh, Canelo. Canelo, the dog. Okay. Give me a verb. Deme un verbo. It. Okay. It. It. Si estamos hablando de he, ¿cómo transformamos el verbo? He eats. He eats what? ¿Qué, qué come? He is what? Um, pupusas. Okay, he eats pupusas. ¿En qué momento del día? Um, the night. Um, the night. At night, right? Um, at night. Okay, he eats pupusas at night. The subject, the verb, the complement, and the time expression, right? You have the time expression. So, in this way, it is easy for you to create sentences, right? If you say she, she, give me another verb for she. She, she what? She dance. She dance in tercera persona? She dance? Dances. Dances. She dances what? What type of music? Salsa, merengue, bachata, reggaeton, what? Salsa. Okay, salsa. Salsa son lo primero. She dances salsa on Sundays. She dances salsa on Sundays. Okay, porque va a un estudio de baile. She dances salsa on Sundays. And there you go. You have the sentence here. So it is a matter of making it in the order. Make it logical. What about the rest of the sentences? Give me the next one that says my mother. Work. My mother works. Okay, my mother works. My mother works. ¿Dónde trabaja? En el hospital. At the hospital. My mother works at the hospital. ¿Cuándo trabaja? Every day. Okay. My mother works at the hospital every day. Hablemos de Julio. ¿Qué hace Julio? Run. Julio runs. Julio runs. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde corre Julio? Julio runs. The park. At the park. The park. At the park. In the morning. Okay. He does it in the morning. Julio runs at the park in the morning. Okay. Let's finish with Juanita and Canelo. Juanita, ¿qué hace Juanita? <laughs> Juanita studies. Good. Juanita studies. Está this what? ¿Qué estudia Juanita? Inglés, matemática. Language. He studies. Okay, he studies English. Let's say he studies English at inglés corporativo. Right? She studies English at inglés corporativo. En Canelo, ¿qué hace Canelo? Canelo es un perro, un aguacatero. Canelo. ¿Qué hace Canelo? Canelo plays. Ajá, Canelo plays. Ok, Canelo plays. Plays what? Canelo, let's see here. Canelo plays. Plays. In the garden. 
Canelo plays in the garden all the time. Eh, teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, en, las, en el complemento donde dice at the hospital y uh -huh. at the park, ¿es correcto también decir in the park y o in the hospital? Very good question. Very good question. When you say, I am, okay, I am going or she is on her way to the hospital, you can say. I am at the hospital. Estoy afuera todavía. I am in the hospital. Estoy ingresado allá adentro. I am at the hospital. Ando ahí, pues, de, de pasé, de visita, algo. Pero if you say, I am in the hospital. I am very sick. Se estás adentro. Estás pasando consulta. Estás medio muerto. That's the difference. When you say at the park, you can be around the park. Or in the case of the park, you can say I'm in the park. Puedes usarla de las dos maneras, ya que hay parques donde entras, hay parques que está solo afuera. But that's the main difference. You say, I am at Metro Centro, you say. Ando ahí por Metro. But if you say, I am in Metro Centro, you are inside of Metro Centro. Anda ya ahí por Simán, en alguna tienda. That's the difference. Okay. But for the places you say, at, I am at the beach, for example. And then apply it. That's the difference. So you say here in the garden. Okay? Se nos hace más fácil entender cada cosa de las oraciones así? Sí, yes. Si la vamos a hacer negativa, entonces por eso les dejé el espacio. ¿Qué le vamos a agregar aquí? Doesn't. Okay, doesn't. Y eso lo vamos a agregar para todas las demás. Aquí va también, 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 también. Doesn't. How is the negative form? ¿Cómo va la oración negativa entonces, la primera? He doesn't. Ajá, very good. Si tenemos doesn't, acuérdense que si tenemos doesn't, no tenemos la S en el verbo. He doesn't eat. Pupusas at night. She doesn't dance. Salsa. My mother doesn't work at the hospital. Julio doesn't run at the park. Juanita doesn't study. Y aquí sí, volvemos a la forma normal con Y. Juanita doesn't study English at English Corporativo. Canelo doesn't play. Canelo doesn't play in the garden. Okay? So that's the form. That's the form. And to make the question, to make the question, what we are going to do is to take the auxiliary en su forma normal sin negativo para el principio de la oración. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar sin negativa? Ay, me borré todo lo demás. It's does. Ok, se lo puedo poner aquí. Does. Ese es el auxiliar sin negativo. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Si lo vamos a pasar al principio y empujamos lo demás. Does he eat pupusas at night? Si pasamos este al principio... Decimos, does he eat pupusas at night? ¿Cómo sería la siguiente? Does. He, does she dance, dance salsa uh, on, Sundays? on Sunday? Y acuérdense que aquí al final tendríamos que ponerle un question. El signo de interrogación, exactamente. ¿Cómo sería la tercera? My mother. My mother, the question, does, does my mother work at the hospital every day? What about the next one? The next question. What is the next question? Julio, does, does Julio 
run at the park at the park in the morning in the morning Juanita does does yeah. Juanita study English at English corporative English corporative and Canelo does does Canelo play in the garden all the time all the time Okay, so that's the form of the questions. That's the form of the negatives, and that's the form of the affirmatives. Okay. Yo soy una mujer bien visual y me gusta partir las cosas para ver la big picture. Entonces, ayer que estaba yo pensando en ustedes, yo dije, hey, vamos a hacer esto mañana para que tal vez les sirve a ellos también. ¿Comprendemos mejor la estructura de las oraciones? Yes, sí, eh, sí, la verdad que de esa yes. forma sí se, se ve más diferente, la verdad, y se entiende más. Good. Al principio ustedes pueden dividir su cuaderno, ahorita que van empezando. Pueden dividir su cuaderno, irlas armando. ¿Para qué? Para que después ustedes puedan armar sus oraciones de la mejor manera. Ok. Ok. Good, very good job. Let's take this example, okay? I am going to take this example for you. Give me a second. And, okay, give me a second. I will send you this example. Okay, and here I go. I will send it to your chat. Yesterday I was having fun with the with the interview. Me sí que me reí con su entrevista de Adel. Uh -huh. It is very complicated. That's a very complicated interview. Definitely. Adel is a very specific human. Difficult to understand. But uh, it was good. It was a nice interview. Well, so let's move here. And I am going to share here now the just the screen. Okay. Let me close it. And I am going to share it again. Okay. It doesn't erase the house. And here. I am going to give you only the verbs. Okay. And you choose how to make it. We have. I will write different verbs. There you go. There you have the verbs. Choose one verb and make a sentence in the three forms. Escojan un verbo y hagan una oración en las tres maneras. Les voy a hacer mi ejemplo. Con speak, okay? I will say, the teacher speaks English very fast. In the negative, we say the teacher doesn't speak English very fast. And the question, okay, there you have three sentences. Do the same, but with one verb. Take one verb and write three sentences. Ya speak, ya no, porque ya lo puse yo. A menos que pongan speak otra vez. Go ahead.
you can take a picture of your sentence, okay? Cuando la terminen de escribir, le toman una foto. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's like gusto de verte. Vaya, el gusto de verte. Nice to see you. Es que está haciendo su examen. Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you. Gusto de conocerte. Bye. Gusto de conocerte. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Doing extra exams. <laughs> so when you finish, please take a picture of your three sentences. Cuando las terminen de escribir, les toman una foto a sus tres oraciones. Go ahead. I am nice to meet you. So you say, it's nice to meet you. 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 I don't know the question. No sé qué pregunta están haciendo. I am just telling you. Es la uno, es la uno de básica. Oh, ok. ¿Cuál es, the question? Es la... ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Steven, nice to meet you, pero no es, no es pregunta. No, no es pregunta, solo es que es contesta. Pero no tiene, tiene que ir. Aquí yo sé que es I am. I am, Nikki. I am. Steven, I am nice to meet you. What are the other options? ¿Qué otras opciones tiene? <laughs> Yo ya contesté <laughs> todas las mí. Okay. Ay, tampoco. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Es, it's, uh -huh. uh, Vaya, uh, vaya uh, it, it. Es que me hace falta el it. <laughs> okay. Ayudando aquí al pueblo. Ok, Alma Dalila, don't worry. Alma Dalila ven el boot y se todavía. Al llegar, me las mando. Ok. La, la puedo enviar al chat. Yeah, sure. Al chat de WhatsApp, envíemela. Ay, es que no puedo meterme al chat de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Entonces al chat del otro. Al chat de Zoom. Here. Send it here. <risa> Qué efecto galáctico. Qué miles de efectos galácticos tiene. ¿eh? Unos cuantos chats sin leer, Edwin. ¿eh, Sí, eh, aquí por el chat de, de Zoom se lo mando. Me la pueden mandar en el chat de WhatsApp si gustan, si se les hace más fácil, en el chat de Zoom, si la quieren mandar ahí está bien. Okay. Don't worry. The way you feel better. Cómo se les haga más fácil. Okay. Ah, let's see. She uses the laptop. She doesn't use the laptop. Does she use the laptop? Okay, does she use the laptop? 
le pondría cero por tres cosas. No hay punto al final y no hay signo de interrogación en la última. To the, does she use the laptop? The teacher, pero ¿por qué me aplazó? Punctuation. Punctuation, ok. Teacher y solo una, una oración en los tres. Yeah, one, one in the three. So, Joanita, we missed the punctuation. Nos faltó la puntuación, Joan. She practices driving every day. She doesn't practice driving every day. Does she practice driving every day? Very good job. Good punctuation, Janet. Let's see the next one. Marcos copies. Uy, ¿cuál es la, la forma de tercera persona del verbo copy si termina en Y con consonante antes? The class of English. Marcos doesn't copy, copy otra vez, at, at class of English. At the English class. Does Marco copy? Tercera persona. Ahí hay que corregirlo. That's good. The second one and the third one. At class of English. La primera copies. Hay que corregirla. The next one. Antonio. La primera copies. Corrijamos. Let's go with the next one. Elizabeth. My mom cleans the house in the morning. My mom doesn't clean the house in the morning. Mm. La última, la pregunta, recuerden el auxiliar primero. Does my mom clean? No sé por qué pusiste cleaning ahí. Cleaning in the morning. La pregunta. Does my mom clean in the morning? Quedamos Elizabeth, Catherine Romero. So, the question, Catherine. La pregunta, Catherine. Okay. Hay que arreglarlo. Does my mom clean? Ahí no, le, no le tienes que poner present progressive. Does my mom clean the house in the morning? Let's see the next ones here. Oh, I have Letty. Letty, Letty. With the copies, the primero. Edwin, Stephen. My brother doesn't cook pizza every day. Okay. Does my brother cook pizza every day? Very good. My brother doesn't cook. And here we have my brother cooks pizza every day. My brother doesn't cook pizza. Does my brother cook pizza every day? And we have the sentence again. Good, good, Steven, right? Para asegurarme que estaba correcto. Sí, le puse el punto y la... Y la I know, and the question was good. Antes de que me ponga cero. Very good job. Excellent. Nice sentences. Let's see if I have more. I have another one. She uses, she uses the cell phone. She doesn't use the cell phone. Does she use the cell phone? Okay. Corazoncito roto. No tiene nombre. ¿Quién es el corazoncito roto? Okay. So good. Keep sending the sentences and I can keep correcting you, okay? Keep sending the sentences so I can keep correcting all of you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing here because I'm going to check the sentences right here. Good. Keep sending it on the chat. Síganme las mandando al chat. La voy a seguir revisando. So, let's move on business, right? Let's move on business and let's continue with what we were doing. In this part, right, we have the different forms of sentences for affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So we have been using that a lot yesterday and today. Let me just move, move here. I have another one. Let me open my, my notebook. Okay, so here we go. Thank you for the next one that I received. It says, no sé si están bien, dice. Okay, hey, Alba, my sister cooks spaghetti on Saturday. Very good. My sister doesn't cook spaghetti. Does my sister cook spaghetti on Saturday? Good, nice sentences. Let's see the ones from Ilse. He writes, he writes, Christian. 
he writes con S. Homework. Homework con K in the school. He doesn't homework. En el segundo no falta el verbo, Christian. He doesn't homework. He doesn't do homework. Does he, y nos falta el verbo también, does he do homework in the school? Ilse, my mother practices. Con S. My mother practices soccer. My mother doesn't practice soccer. Does my mother practice soccer? Good. So the first one. La primera, Ilse. My mother practices. Con S. My mother doesn't practice. And does my mother practice? Good. Y Christian, corrijamos el, he writes homework con K al final. Está bien la mía, teacher. My sister cooks rice all the weekends. Yes, Luz. Yes, Luz. That's correct. Leticia. Leticia, Leticia. Teacher, ahí en la, en el, aquí en, la, en, en el cuaderno lo hice con K y ahí lo puse con T. Por eso les pedí la foto del cuaderno, porque ahí me puedo ahí dar cuenta la... cómo lo escribieron. Así no es la... el Sorry. correcto. Or, dice, Leti, Leti, ya me lo mandaste. Sí, 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 se lo mandé en el grupo de WhatsApp. Tú eres el corazoncito roto. Sí. Ay, mijo, pónganle nombre a WhatsApp. Eso o, o le voy a dar un consejo sano profesional. Muy bueno. Eh, siempre en WhatsApp, en la descripción, pongan su nombre, uno de sus nombres, ¿ok? Ese es un consejo profesional muy bueno, porque a veces la gente recibe un mensaje suyo y dice, ok, ¿quién es? Corazoncito, Lunita, bla, bla, bla. No, siempre en WhatsApp revisen que en la descripción este es su nombre. Les dejo el consejo gratis. He writes, he writes con ese, he writes homework. In the school, he doesn't write homework, ya ves. Does he... Ajá, pero ahí el verbo nos hace falta, Cristian. En la segunda, he doesn't do homework. Does he do homework? So, let's write it there. Ah, ok, corazoncito roto. She uses, she uses the cell phone. Nos falta la S. She doesn't use the cell phone. Does she use the cell phone? Solo en la primera, uses. Ok, that's it, right? That's it. Leticia, corregí la primera. Leticia Ortiz, corregí la primera con S. Okay. That, that's why I ask you to, to send it. My mother practices soccer. Excellent, Ilse. You corrected. Fantastic. So that's the, that's the form, right? That's the form of sentences. I always like to check. Yo sé que a veces nos toma dos, tres más minutos, pero me gusta revisarles a todos lo que están haciendo. Porque si no, todos, ay, sí entendí, teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Pero si no lo hacemos, Vamos por el mundo sin usar bien el simple present. So it is, it is, it's necessary. It's very necessary. Let's go. So here, yesterday we were talking about the different professions, occupations, and the different things that people do at their job, right? So we were working on, let's go to the manual just for us to check. Mira el manual solo para que chequemos todo lo que hemos ido haciendo. We did affirmative and negative sentences, right? And we have a little bit of practice. Remember that for the affirmatives we change, for the negatives we don't. What is sentence number one? Ayer las hicimos, vamos a ver si la recuerdan. What is the first one? Aquí tenemos el verbo que hay que cambiar. What will be the first sentence? He How will you make the next sentence? This one. ¿Cómo haríamos esto? Ajá, mis chicos, ¿cómo haríamos esa primera oración? This affirm, it's an affirmative sentence. Affirmative order. He, he, order. he orders, right? He orders everything in the office, right? He orders. He orders everything in the office. What about the next one? The next one is... 
Is it affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative, right? We have not call. Not call. Okay, so we have Helen. That's not that's call. call the design department the design. on weekends. Oh, what about the next one? Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Affirmative, right? Affirmative. How would you make that sentence? I I write. I write, very uh, good. I write a list with the things we need at, at 9 a.m., right? I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. What about this one? Amy and Theresa. Amy and Teresa, two people, plural. Amy and Teresa ask. Ask, right? It doesn't change. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. She. Clings. She yeah. clings. Yeah. She clings our desks in the morning. Mario. Doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Very good. A record of the merchandise he buys. Buys, right? Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. New words, new vocabulary. Palabras nuevas, vocabulario. No. Catherine Solórzano doesn't. El apóstrofe va después de la N. No antes. Ok. No questions. No new words. No hay vocabulario nuevo. Uh, what is the meaning of mer merchandise? Merchandise. The merchandise is all the products that a company needs. Ok. For example, for the factory. Para la, para la fábrica. Toda la mercancía que ustedes hacen. That's merchandise. Okay? All the clothing, all the objects, all the, the blouses, everything. That's merchandise. Todos los productos que una compañía hace. La mercancía. Okay? The merchandise. Anything else? No? No more questions? Okay, so practice with me. He orders everything in the office. He orders, he orders everything, everything in the office. office. Helen doesn't call the design Helen. department on weekends. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures Every Friday, very good. Yeah, si no me están repitiendo puro periquito, si están leyendo, right? Every Friday. Signatures. ¿Qué significa signatures? A ver, nadie me preguntó. ¿Qué significa signatures? Asignatura. Asignatura. Asigna asignatura. Asignatura se escribe subject. Subject. Esto es asignatura. Subject. What is your favorite um, subject? Mathematics, science, English, etc. Signatures are la de bandido. Cuando hace los checkers. Firma. Exactly like that, right? En la quincena cuando dicen pase a firmar. 
Thank you very much. With your money, right? Signature. Number four. She cleans our desks in the mornings. She cleans, she cleans in the mornings. Desks. Desks. Okay, porque aquí tenemos desks in the morning. Tenemos S, K, S. She cleans desk. desk. Very good. Ya ven que no me hacen las preguntas. Todo bien, todo bien, dice. Desk, pupitres, mesas, escritorios. Okay, desks, escritorios. She cleans our desks in the morning. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. Mario. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. He buys. He buys. He buys. He buys. He buys. Very good job. So this is what we did yesterday in the conversation. So here we have different activities that people do. For example, in this case, what does Oneida do? What does Oneida do? ¿Qué hace Oneida en su trabajo? Hmm. Recuerden que es tercera persona. She creates software, repairs computers, installs antivirus. <clears throat> what is something she doesn't do? She doesn't. She doesn't sell, sell computers. computers. She doesn't exchange sell. information. What about Ricardo? What does he do? Third person. He keeps keeps track. Of the, the of the sales, oh. he writes right. reports report. and he buys mm -hmm. new merchandise. Mm -hmm. What is something that he doesn't do? He doesn't. He, he doesn't, doesn't receive receive money. money. And he doesn't decide what, what to buy. To buy. Um, he doesn't that. decide what to buy. Right? He doesn't decide what to buy. Let's see. Here. L look at the information, okay? Vean bien la información, porque le voy a hacer varias preguntas. Analyze the information, okay? Vamos a hacer un minuto de observation. Vean la información, leanla, observenla, vean los nombres. Oneida en Nelly, Ricardo en Max. Son las dos. Ver, ¿qué quiero okay. There Very well. No sé si a ustedes les pasa, pero el corchete en mi mente se ve bien bonito, pero ya cuando lo hago aquí, horrible. So there you go. Oneida en Nelly, en Ricardo en Max. Check on the activities. Vean las actividades que hace. Leanlas bien. Les voy a hacer preguntas. Okay. Okay, the questions. Ahí vienen las preguntas. Check on the questions. I will send you the questions. Les voy a enviar las preguntas. Okay. 
I am going to send you the questions and I'm going to send you the pictures. Okay, there you have the questions. Analyze the questions. What is the first question? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Do Richard and Max get the money from the sales? Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? So here we go. And I am going to send you this part as well. Te voy a enviar también la parte de la information. Okay. There you go. This is going to be individual work. Answer yes or no. Okay. Yes or no to the different questions. Analyze the two things. Analyze the two things. Analicen la imagen y analicen las preguntas. Las preguntas las tienen en el chat. La imagen también. <clears throat> Está en el chat de WhatsApp. Analyze the question, analyze the pictures, and tell me yes or no. Y recuerden que como yo soy su teacher, les voy a decir por qué. Y me van a explicar por qué. Por qué sí y por qué no. Dele bastante. No le dé un poquito. Okay. Let me know when you finish. Okay.
Okay. Do you have the sentences? Ya tienen las respuestas, al menos de la primera. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Why? Where does it say? Donde dice? No, she doesn't. Okay. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Yes. Yes no. or no? Yes, okay. Si me dicen yes, ¿por qué? Eh, no, porque dice ahí que si Oneida y Nelly trabajan con software. Uh -huh. Y la verdad que una crea software y la otra... No, este... Oneida y Nelly, eh, las dos son para las dos. Sí. Todo, toda esta parte es para ellas dos. Ellas dos son con estas dos cosas. Las cosas que hacen y las cosas que no hacen. So, do Oneida and Nelly work with software? Yes, they do. Because yes, they, they, do. they create software. They okay? create software. They create software, oh, okay. right? They create software. Very good. What about the next one? Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No. What do no, they sell? Sí. ¿Qué es lo que venden ellas? Uh, they sell computer. They sell I'm computer? Sorry. Yeah, they sell computer. Yeah. Computer. Yeah programs, right? They sell computer programs. They don't sell antivirus, right? Ellas no venden el antivirus. Ellas lo instalan, okay? They don't sell the antivirus. They install the antivirus, right? They don't sell it. Okay. Eso se llama lectura comprensiva porque vamos más allá del sí o no. ¿Por qué? Siempre pregúntense por qué. Number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Do Ricardo and Max get money? What is the meaning get? Get, mm -hmm. obtener, recibir. Do Ricardo and Max get money from the sales? No. Why? Um, I think my answer. Uh -huh. Sin pena, sin miedo. Porque dice que ellos compran nueva mercancía y abajo dice que pues no, no reciben money. Excellent. They don't receive money, right? They don't receive money. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, because they don't receive money. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes. Yes. Yes, they do, right? They write reports. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No. 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 Who repairs computers? Who repairs computers? Eh, eh, Oneida and... and Nelly, right? Oneida and Nelly, they repair computers. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No, they don't. No. no. They don't install programs? No. What What do they do with the programs? They no. just sell. They don't sell computer programs, right? They don't sell computer programs. They install what? There is something that they install. Antivirus. Antivirus. Very yes. good. They install antivirus and i can give you one type of sentence here this is extra from the topic right esta es una oración extra que pueden hacer y eso no va con el tema pero se la pueden mostrar i can say oneida creates software but she doesn't sell 
computers. Okay, Oneida creates software, but she doesn't sell computers. ¿Cómo se llama esto? Contrast. Contrast, que decimos, hace esto, pero no hace esto. Hace esto, pero no hace lo otro. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál es el pero? ¿Sí? But. Oneida creates software, but she doesn't sell computers. Eso se llama contrast. ¿Pueden crear una oración en contrast? Como la que yo les acabo de poner. Traten de inventársela ahorita sin escribirla. You can say, Nelly repairs computers, but she doesn't exchange information. That can be. Traten de crear una. Escriban. Escriban un contraste como el que acabo de hacer yo. Ella hace esto, pero no hace esto. Él hace esto, pero no hace lo otro. Write one sentence. Quien ya tenga su ejemplo me lo dice. Eh, yo, teacher. Ajá, vamos. Ricardo Wright Reports. Ajá. Bad Repair Computer. Ok, let's see. Ricardo writes reports, but, but he doesn't. Nos faltó el, la negativa. But he doesn't eh, sells computers, for example. Vamos a ver algún Thank otro you. ejemplo. Ok, correct it, corregilo. Por. Algún otro ejemplo, vamos a ver quién se lanza este a este tema de intermedio 2 yo teacher go ahead Max buy a new merchandise uh -huh. but he doesn't install antivirus very good right he buys new merchandise but he doesn't install antivirus very good job another example uh, Ricardo received receives money receives money but he doesn't read report. He doesn't write reports. Very good. He receives money, but he doesn't write reports. Another one. Tírense el ruedo. Vamos a ver. Go ahead, Yoni. Ricardo writes report. <laughs> but he doesn't uh, write computers. Okay, he writes, he writes reports, but he doesn't uh, repair computers. Joanna and then Steven. Nelly uh, installs antivirus. 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 Uh -huh. uh, she doesn't exchange information about programs. Okay, but she doesn't. But she doesn't. Acordémonos, el contraste va con but. But she doesn't exchange but information. Corrijámosla. Edwin. Oneida repair computer, but she doesn't sell computer programmer. She doesn't sell computer programs. That's good. You see, este es un tema que van a ver en intermedio, pero ya lo van conociendo. That was good. Good examples. Very good job. So, before everything, before everything, I am going to stop a moment and I'm going to call the attendance. Okay, voy a parar un ratito antes de pasarnos al siguiente tema, al siguiente, a la siguiente practice, and I'm going to call the attendance. Les paso lista y de ahí ya nos vamos con el siguiente tema. Let's move here.
Okay. Here we go. Alma Dalila. Alma Dalila. Thank you very much. Okay. Hoy es miércoles. Alma Dalila. Alma Xiomara. Alba Leticia. Present teacher. Antonio José. Present teacher. Cristian Mauricio. Present teacher. Ed Edwin Steven. Present. Eric Eduardo, que nunca lo conocí. Evelyn Janet. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Ay, my ears. The next one. Eh, Heidi Yamilet, que tampoco la conocí. Janet Tatiana. Present teacher. Thank you. José Heriberto. Hey, Mr. Reyes. Ya decía yo que me hacía falta un universo aquí. ¿Dónde está don José Reyes? ¿Cómo es posible este suceso? Ok, yo sabía que me hacía falta un universo. Algo no veía, decía yo. That was good. Ok, don José Reyes. Hoy no vino, andaba vagando. José Oscar Flores. Josué David Salvador. Catherine Alejandra Juárez. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present teacher. Thank you. ¿Qué se me hace, Catherine? <laughs> Leticia Magdalena. Present teacher. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Luz de Jesús. Lucecita. Melvin, Rosa, Rosa María, no, and Joan. Present. Thank you very much. So, let's move on business. Hey, Lucecita, ahí está. So, let's move here to the next exercise. Let me open it. Okay, I will close this one. And here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Let's open number seven. Let's move here. I have to. So I have a phrase right here. I need a volunteer to help me to read the face. Help me reading the phrase. I need one volunteer. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer la frase? Ya, teacher. Go ahead. Every day is a good day. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. Every day is a good day. What is the meaning of that? Every day is a good day. What is the meaning of that? Every day is a good day. Cada día es un buen día. There is something to learn. Care and celebrate. There is something to learn, care and celebrate. There is something. Siempre hay algo. There is something. ¿Cómo diría la segunda parte? There is something to learn, care and celebrate. Uh -huh. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa la segunda parte? 
Ajá. Siempre hay algo. There is something significa siempre hay algo. Que aprender. Hay que aprender. Muy bien. Care. Y celebrar. Cuidar, Cuidar y celebrar. Right? Siempre hay algo que aprender, que Cuidar. cuidar y que y cele celebrar. celebrar. Good, very good. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. We go. Every day is a good day. Vamos todos. Every day is a good day. Every day. Every day is a good day. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. There is something to learn, care, and celebrate. There is something to learn, to care, and to celebrate. Okay, so this is the activity we just did in the, in the manual, right? Esas son las que hicimos en el manual. I have here three different idioms. What are idioms? Idioms are phrases from English that mean something different. For example, this one says never too late. Never too late. It's better late than never. Es mejor tarde que nunca. To say good luck. Le van a decir, break a leg. Quiebrate una pierna. Okay. No. <laughs> break a leg significa buena suerte. Y para no rendirte, hay un idiom que se llama no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Sin dolor, no hay gloria. No pain, no gain. Break a leg and better late than never. Mejor tarde que nunca. Mm -hmm. Do we have this type of phrases in, in, in Spanish? ¿Tenemos de este tipo de oraciones en español? Okay. Which ones? Díganme algún idioma en español. Ajá. ¿No se sabe algún dicho en español? ¿Algún idiom? Like this one. Better late than ever. Mejor tarde que nunca. Break a leg. Rompete una pierna. No pain, no gain. Sin dolor, no hay gloria. Give me more examples in Spanish. ¿Qué otros ejemplos tenemos en español? Como por ejemplo, más vale pedir permiso que perdón. <risa> más vale igual de al revés, vea. Más vale pedir perdón que pedir permiso. <risa> yes. Ya, porque ya lo hiciste, ¿va? más vale pedir perdón que pedir permiso. Definitely. Another one. Do we have any other example of these things in Spanish? A lo regalado no se le ha lado. Ah, caballo regalado no se le busca lado, right? That's good, right? Indio prevenido vale por dos. Indio, ok. Indio prevenido vale por dos. Sí. Another one. O oh, oh, mejor que digan aquí corrió, que aquí quedó. <laughs> aquí corrió, aquí quedó, right? That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> Camarón que se duerme le lleva la corriente. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. Right? Camarón yeah. que se duerme lo hacen poco. <laughs> good, very good. Okay, so these are idioms. In English, we have many different types of idioms. Si se dan, si se dan una vuelta por el internet y pongan ahí, idioms in English. Y you are going to read a lot of examples of this, right? You have a lot of idioms. So this is a general review of what we have been studying, right? Esta es una revisión general de lo que hemos estado estudiando. Uh, simple present for I, you, we, and they. Simple present for he, she, and it, right? I work every day, she works every day. I don't work every day, she doesn't work every day. Do I work every day? Does she work every day? Right? And here you have the different rules for this ones. 
Here we have, for simple present, do, don't. For simple present, he, she, it, you have the change of the verbs, okay? Here you have the verbs in the normal form. And here you have the verbs in third person, right? We have the different rules, okay? And they keep the base form. They don't change. This is what we have been studying. Eso es todo lo que hemos venido estudiando. And for positive statements, right? Positive statements, you make the change for he, she, and it, right? I want an apple. Irma wants an apple. ¿Cuál sería el otro ejemplo? Jose and Christian asked me about my mother. Brian asks me about my mother. Sentence number three. Can you help me to read it? Liliana and Johnny. Liliana and Johnny. Work. Walk on the, on the street, right? Liliana and Johnny walk on the street. What about number three, interperson? The dog well, walks well, on the well, street. Well, the dog walks on the street. Number four? The gray. They, they cry, cry every, day. every day, right? They cry every day. And the next one? Okay, baby the baby cries. Number five? The butterflies, the butterflies, the butterflies fly. What about the next one? The butterflies fly. The butterfly fly, right? Number six. Franklin and Franklin and Franklin and Yvette study. What about the next one, number six? Irving, Irving studies. studies. Irving studies. Number seven? I, I, uh, I pass my, my exam. I pass my exam. I pass my exam. Number seven? Tania passes, Tania. Tania passes the exam. Jocelyn and Suleyma? Catch the ball. Marco catches the ball. Reinaldo and Luis fix the computer. Fix the computer. Erika fixes the computer. And you push the door. Push, push the door. Push the door. Eric pushes the door. Pushes. Pushes. No andemos por la vida jalando puertas que dicen push. Push es empuje. Pull es jale. ¿Ok? Ahí anda usted jalando la puerta que dice push. Be very careful. ¿Ok? El inglés te va a abrir muchas puertas. Right. Yes. Push. You push the door and you pull the door. Be careful with that. So there you have this example right here. And here we have a, in the forms of the questions, right? For the questions, we make, a, as we were talking about at the beginning of the class. Al principio de la clase hicimos la práctica de las preguntas. Para tercera persona ponemos das al principio, right? Okay, das. And for the normal subjects, we put do. And for these ones, we put do. Okay. How do you make the questions with the auxiliary? A todas estas, por ejemplo, todas las que están aquí, a este lado donde voy a poner el do. Solo le agregaríamos el question mark. Do I want an apple? Do Jose and Christian ask me about my mother? 
Do Liliana and Johnny walk on the street? Do they cry every day? Do the butterflies fly? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta número seis? Do you study? Very good. Number seven. I do. Do I pass my exam? What about the next one? What is the next one? Jocelyn. Do Jocelyn and Suleyma. Do Jocelyn. Catch. Catch the ball. Do Reynaldo and Luis. The Fix the computer. Do you? Push the door. Push, push. 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 Es cuando no la alcanzas a ver, ¿verdad? Push. Push, push. Do you push the door? Okay. The next ones, you are going to add only does, but what are we going to change? ¿Qué cambio le vamos a hacer? Sí, ya le vamos a poner dos. Quitarle la S. The verb, the verb, right? We need to change the verb. And here we go, right? We change the verb. Give me examples. Edwin, el primero. Christian, number two. Catherine, Elizabeth, number three. Tatiana, Galeas, number four. Vamos, Edwin. Dos. Das. Irma. Das. Dos. Das. Irma. One and apple. Okay, das, dos. Irma. Dos. Dos. No, dos no, das. Dos. Das, das, como con A, das. Ah, uh, das. das. Das, Irma. Das, Irma, one and apple. And apple, very good. Christian. Das, Brian, as me, I put my more. About, about. Oh, my more. Very good. Catherine Elizabeth. Does the dog walk on, on the street? A street, street. A street, a street. Very good, the street. Tatiana. Does the baby cry? Very good, does the baby cry? Let's continue with Ilse, number five. Antonio, number six. Eh, Leticia González, number seven. En Alma Dalila, que está ahí peleando con la humanidad, number eight. Number five, vamos. It's... Does the butter... butterfly, butterfly, butterfly fly? Very good. Number six. Eh, does Irving study? Study, study. very good. Number seven. Does Tanya pass the exam? Very good. Number eight. Does Marcos catch the ball? Catch, porque aquí le quitamos el, la tercera persona. Does Marco catch the ball? Very good. Number nine. Joanna, please. And Does uh -huh. Erika fix the computer? Very good. And number 10, Miss Janet. Number 10. Janet. You say das. Das. Eric. Das Eric push the door. Very good. Das Eric push the door. That's the form of questions, right? That is the form of questions. Excellent job, my dear students. Nice, very nice. I will send you this exercise later. Let's see. For this one, we are going to create questions. Questions with these pictures. 
What question comes to your mind? ¿Qué pregunta se le viene a la mente con estas imágenes? Aquí vamos a usar do y aquí vamos a usar das. Ah, inventa question. ¿Qué pregunta se le vendría a la mente? Let's create the first one with the cows. Do cows, but. ¿Cómo terminaríamos esa pregunta? Do cows give milk? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, they do. What about the tigers? Sigan el ejemplo de la pregunta. Do tigers... ¿Cómo la completaría? Uh -huh. Do tigers have? They have what? Are angry. Ah, do tigers? Okay. In that case, in that case, is a question with yes or no. Aquí porque como estamos hablando de una de un feeling tendría que ser con are. Are tigers angry? Yes, they are. Pero en este caso estamos ocupando do. Do tigers, do tigers live in El Salvador? No. Do tigers live in El Salvador? No. no. Where do they live? Sí, porque así es, tratamos de hacerlo de una vez a la primera y, y enviarlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Siempre los equivocamos. Bueno, como estamos empezando, yo siempre me equivoco, la verdad. So, where do tigers live? ¿Dónde viven los tigres? Do tigers live in El Salvador? ¿Yes or no? No, en África. Está bien. No, they live in Africa, right? ¿Saben dónde viven los tigres? En el norte. Gracias. Viven en el norte. Do tigers live in El Salvador? No, they don't. They live in the north. Do students? What? Do students practice English? Do students practice English? Okay. Yes. Yes, they do, teacher. Yes, they do. Okay. Let's see. We do. ¿Qué otra pregunta pueden hacer con los estudiantes? Miren lo que están haciendo. Do students. Watch computer. Do students watch the computer? Good. Or do their homework, right? Do students do their homework? What about they? Do they? Watch. Do they watch? What? TV? Do they watch TV? Very good, very good. Now let's do it with he. Does he... Does he... Play? Watch TV? Does he watch TV? Very good. What about her? Does she... Does she... Um, read, a book. read a book very good does she read a book alguien no sopló por ahí no sé no, qué fue. does she does she read a book very good does she read a book what about this one does she take a shower, take a shower? very good does he Ah, uh, shower. Uh, this one. 
No. ¿Qué está no. haciendo? ¿Qué está haciendo el compadre? Hombre que necesita permiso para salir. Nada. What is this one? Does he wash wash, wash the dishes? Wow. Wash the dishes. Very good. Wash the dishes. Does he wash the dishes? Yes, he does. Right? He washes the dishes. Very excellent thing. Right? In this one, I know it's a little bit more complicated because you have to uh, create. Right? You have to create the sentences. But it was good. Right? It was very good. So let's move here. I have, hey, I had another exercise here. Tengo otro ejercicio aquí para ustedes. Deme un segundo. Let me see. I have one simple exercise here. This is little simple. Let's yes. work on the first one. Here you have, and there you have the verb. Tenemos siete oraciones. Christian, number one. Ilse, number two. Leticia, number three. Leticia Gonzalez. Antonio, number four. Luz Rodriguez, number five. Catherine Solorzano, number six. And Alma Dalila. Oh, no, yo te digo una vez. And let me see who is missing. Tatiana Galeas, number seven. Create the sentence and you're going to read it. Number one, go ahead. Mr. B is a teacher. He teaches. He teaches. He teaches. He teaches, right? Ahí tenemos que cambiar el verbo a tercera persona, right? He teaches history. The next one, number two. Jim and Nick play uh -huh. football every day. Very good. Two people, plural. We don't change it. Very nice. Number three. Leslie uh, tidies, tidies. Room homes a week. Tidy is very good. Y consonante y es. Tidy is her room once a week. Tidy means clean, organize. Number four. Uh, Peter and his friend guys to school by bus. Okay. Peter and his friends. Two people. Plural. Ares. Okay, Peter and his friends go. Porque tenemos dos personas, go. plural, en ese caso es they. Mm. Okay, go. Number five. The bank. The bank opens at eight. Nine. At nine. <laughs> and closes, closes at 4 p.m. Very good. Number six. We wash our car every Saturday. Okay, we. Con we, ¿cambiamos? ¿Sí o no? No, right? We ¿Cambiamos? Wash, exactly. We wash, we wash our, our car every, every Saturday. Saturday. Good job. Very good job. Number seven. Stanley likes 
Kiki's music. Excellent job. Very good job. Now we're going to make them negative. We're going to make these ones negative. Volunteer for number two. ¿Quién me hace la número dos? Negativa. Vamos. Okay. Do play the play piano. the piano. Hey, very good, Janet and Catherine. Good job. Kiki doesn't play the piano. Number three. Teachers. Teachers doesn't work. Teachers, doesn't work. teachers, teachers, plural. Teachers. Don't. Teachers don't. don't. Teachers don't. Porque es una persona plural. So you say teachers don't. Okay? Teachers don't. Porque es plural. Teachers don't. Okay? Pero aquí sí, Kiki, porque es una, una she, right? So you say Kiki doesn't. Okay? A banker, number four. A bank. A bucket of tea. A banker. Doesn't. Doesn't, right? A banker doesn't. ¿Qué sujeto sería a banker? Smith. A packet okay. of things. It can be it can be he or she, right? A banker doesn't sell meat. Number five, pandas. Panda. Pandas doesn't eat fish. Memory. Pandas. Memory stick. Pandas don't, pandas right? Pandas don't, don't eat fish. Leopards. Leopards. Don't. No, don't, don't live in Antarctica. Okay, pandas don't live in Antarctica. And for the last one, vamos a hacer preguntas. Okay, preguntas. Para esta sí, las vamos a copiar. Get your notebook. Escojan tres. Recuerde que van a empezar con do o con das. Depende del sujeto que tenga. El sujeto es este. Okay. Escojan tres. Sleep. 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 Escribirle, hay que escribirle al chat.
¿Qué pasó, mi amor? ¿Qué te está haciendo tu mamá? Only three, okay. Who has the three questions? Quien ya tiene sus tres preguntas. Ajá. Questions. Questions. Only three. Solo tres. No me dan veinte. Only three. Vamos, Edwin. Wow. Cool. Ajá. So it crying a lot in your country. Does it rain? Does it rain? Does it rain a lot in your country? Very good. Do Mike and Paul live in the street? Do Mike and Paul live in the street? Mm -hmm. Live in the street. Very good. I said we live, live. Aparte de uno que otro detallito de pronunciación, estuvimos muy bien. Muy buen uso de los auxiliares. Good job. Any other one? Todos la van a decir, así que no se escondan. Go ahead. Good for Edwin Steven. Nice, nice job. Ajá. ¿Ah? Alma Dalila. La veo con cara de que ya la terminó. Do you go to school? Do you walk to school? Very good. Does your brother lie on our field? Okay, does your brother, does your brother like horror films? Very good. Horror films? Horror films. Films. Okay. Y la tercera que todavía no le he terminado. Okay, okay, continue, continue. Leticia okay. Gonzalez, do you have yours? <laughs> Uh, do you walk to school? Do you walk to school? Does your brother like horror films? Does your brother like horror films? Very good. Does Mike and Paul like in the street? Okay, Mike and Paul. Tenemos dos personas, plural. Ocupamos does or do? Uh, do. Do. Very good. Okay. I love when you correct yourself. Joanna, go ahead. Se nota cuando hayan terminado, fíjense, en el rostro le veo. Uh, do we need any eggs? Do we need any eggs? Very good. Does it rain a lot of in your country? Does it rain a lot in your country? Y does Mr. Jones teaches que she... Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Geography. 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 Does, geography. Mr. Does Mr. John teach geography? Yes. Very good. Geography. Very good job. Very good job. Let's see. Tatiana. Do you go to a school? 
do you want does to school? Your, does your brother like horror films? Do you we need any X? Do we need? Do we need any X? Very good. Do we need any X? Ilse Marlene. Does your brother like horror films? Okay. Do we need any X? Do we need any X? La otra no la he terminado. Okay, continue, right? Ahí me deben una, me deben una Dalila y me deben una Ilse. Eh, Antonio. Eh, do you go to, to school? Do your brother like or sing? And do we need any else? That's your brother. That's your brother, yeah. right? That's your brother. The That's next brother. one, Christian okay. Ramos. Uh, do you walk to, to school? Do you walk to school? Uh, does Mr. John teach geography? Okay, geography, geography. Do you want a uh, Do you want like horror film? Does your brother, does your brother, does your brother like horror films? And the next one, let's go with Catherine Solorzano. Do we need any egg? Do we need does, any eggs? Uh -huh. Does your brother like or her feel? Okay. Does it rain a lot in your country? Does it rain a lot in your country? Good, very good. And my last volunteer, Janet, vamos. Do you walk to a school? Do you walk to school? Do we need any help? Do we need any eggs? Yes. Do Mr. Teacher Geography? Do Mr. Jones teach Mr. Jones geography? Geography. geography? Very good. Letty. Vamos, Ajá, de una manita sí, levantada. Thank you, Janet. Very good job. De una manita levantada. ¿De quién fue? Do you walk to school? Do you walk yes. to school? Any eggs? Do we Paul live in the street? Okay. Do Mike and Paul live in the street? Good. Someone else? Un voluntario antes de irnos a la última actividad del día? Yo. Okay, vamos. Do you carry a... ¿Cómo? Okay, Luz. Do it rain a lot in your country? Does it rain a lot in your country? <laughs> Y las otras como ya las dijeron. No, um, it's okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Do you walk to school? Very good. Do you walk to school? Very nice. Does uh, your brother like horror films? Does your brother? Does your brother? Brother. Oh. Okay, very good. So, <clears throat> just to make it clear, remember that this one, for example, here, tenemos el sujeto do. Tenemos el sujeto you, sorry, ya le di la respuesta. Para you, do. Para your brother, que sería he en este caso, does. Para we, do. Para it, que es tercera persona, does. Mike and Paul, dos personas plural, do. Mr. Jones, he, does. Okay, that's the form we have for these questions. Y ahí... Solo complementamos. Después de do, el sujeto, do you walk to school? Does your brother like? Do we? Does it? Do Mike? Does Mr. Jones? Okay? So that's the form of the different questions. We are going to work right now on this one. Okay? Vamos a trabajar el último ejercicio de la noche. Hoy si no les he dado tiempo, pero ni de respirar. Ejercicio, 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 ejercicio. It was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Si bombardeados con ejercicios los he tenido. But it's good. Así me gusta. Let's go with the last one. Okay. okay. We have here. 
the short story. Okay, vamos a terminar el día con un cuento. Ali and the Magic Carpet. Okay, Ali and the Magic Carpet. It says. Lo voy leyendo, ustedes se van fijando, palabras nuevas, vocabulario, okay? One very hot day, Ali finds a carpet in his uncle's shop. What's this? Suddenly, the carpet jumps. It moves and flies off into the air. Hey, what's happening? A loud booming voice comes from the carpet. Welcome, oh master, I am the magic carpet. First, they fly high up into the sky and then they land in a jungle. It is hot and wet and it is raining. It's raining, yuck. Then they fly to the desert. It is very, very hot and dry. It is very, very hot today. After they fly to the South Pole, there is lots of ice and snow. It's freezing. Where are we now? I can see. In the mountains? Can you see me? It's very foggy. Then they fly to a forest. It's very windy there. Oh, it's windy in the forest. Then they fly to an island in the sea. There is thunder and lightning. Oh, let's go home. What a storm. Finally, they fly back home. The carpet lands in the shop and Ali gets off. Wow, what an adventure. Let's go back here. This is Ali and the magic carpet, right? In these first sentences, new words or new vocabulary? Teacher, what's the meaning of? Recuerden que lo pueden marcar también. Bo booming? Booming, creo que. Let's see. I think it was. Hey, perdón, la moví. Let's see. Ah, a loud booming voice. It is when people speak like this. I am your master. Una voz aguda, así como fuerte. Soy el genio de la lámpara. That's a booming voice. Huh? Suddenly. 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 De repente. Suddenly. Suddenly. Wow. You didn't know, right? Suddenly. Another one. Uh, the they donde dice then they land land que es okay land de... aterrizar aterrizar any other one happening oh algo así happening this one what's happening qué está pasando ¿Qué está pasando? Yuck. Which one? Yuck. Yuck. It's like yuck. Carpet. Which one? Carpet. Carpet. Esta es una carpet. Es oh. una alfombra. Mm. Ajá. Teacher, un clip shop o inglés, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Which one? Ah, 
uncle's shop. Good. Uncle es tío. Si es la tienda de mi tío. My sí. uncle's shop. My uncle's shop es la tienda de mi tío. Raining. Lloviendo. Lloviendo. Ok. Lloviendo. Any other one? When you say the carpet jumps, salto. It moves and flies off into the air. Salió volando en el aire. Okay, first. Primero, first. It was hot and wet. Wet, for example, when, when you get water on your clothes. Cuando salí, se está lloviendo y de repente se quita la lluvia. But you are all wet. It's like, ah, soy todo mojado, right? It was hot and wet, like in the jungle. Es un calor húmedo. It was hot and wet, okay? What are we going to do, people? I am going to send you this exercise. Le voy a enviar esta página. Y aquí van a encontrar el audio. Okay, you can listen to the story as many times as possible. Porque mañana ustedes me van a decir la historia. Okay? You are going to tell me the story. ¿Vieron cómo se las conté yo ahora? Así como que, and then they fly, and they did, and they did this and this. It's not going to be similar, but a little bit, okay? No va a ser igual así con ademanes y todas las cosas. Pero vamos a hacer un grupito y ahí el grupito me va a contar la historia. I am going to send it to you right now. Se los envío en este momento. Quisiera una pregunta. Yes. Este, vamos a recibir clases durante la vacación. No. Ah, claro que sí. Yeah, no, 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 no. On vacation, we don't have classes. Right? Yo quisiera. Pero lo voy a dejar descansar de mí un ratito. Que le voy a dejar tareas sí. otra cosa. Pero... <risa> sí, Caterina. Ah, oh, Alba, Lila, dígame. Y, o sea, una preguntita. ¿El curso dura? 20 días. ¿Cuántas semanas? El, conmigo están ah, 20, 20 días. días. Como, por ejemplo, en este caso tenemos vacaciones de por medio. No le puedo decir, son cuatro semanas, ¿verdad? Pero, en este caso, como tenemos la vacación en medio, contamos 20 días desde el día que iniciamos. ¿Ok? No me han dado respuesta todavía si el lunes sí vamos a recibir clases, que yo creo que es lo más lógico porque todavía es 31. Pero entonces ahí contamos 20 días. Terminamos aproximadamente el 15 de agosto. Ah, ok. Y terminando el curso. Um... Terminando el curso, pasan alrededor de 3, 4 días. Por eso si les envían eh, la papelería para reinscripción y todo, ustedes inscríbanse rápido. Lo más rápido que ustedes se inscriban de nuevo o que llenen la papelería que les envían, por ejemplo, lo más pronto que se inicie el curso de nuevo. Normalmente pasan 2, 3 días en lo que reinscriben y vuelven a iniciar. Ya su básico número dos. Y así van siempre. ¿Ok? okay. O sea que no es, digamos, a los 20 días. Eh, Pasa un día y después. Ajá, ajá. No, no, no. Aquí, por ejemplo, ustedes eh, cierran el módulo. Por eso es importante que toda la papelería y todo lo que les pidan de enviar y cosas, lo envíen rapidito. ¿Ok? Si, les tienen, si tienen que enviar algo. Si es todo por medio de recursos humanos, pues no hay problema. Pero si de repente les escriben, miren, hay que reinscribirnos o hay que hacer esta encuesta o hay que hacer esto otro, hay que hacerlo rápido, chicos, para que ustedes aseguren su puesto en el próximo módulo rapidito y no estén haciendo ah, todo el último día. Ok, y el diploma es al final de todos los módulos. Ok, buenas preguntas. Antes teníamos un diploma por cada módulo. Creo que así es todavía. Así que eh, tengo dos preguntas entonces pendientes para ustedes. Si tienen diploma al final de cada módulo y si vamos a tener clases el lunes. Así que voy a investigarles eso para mañana. Okay? Okay. So, my dear okay. students, I am going to see you tomorrow then. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Tomorrow. See you, tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you.